That is good, I guarantee. Come here, rabbit. <laughs> How y'all are? I'm glad for you to see me, I guarantee. I'm gonna make you a roux. We'll talk about it, I've got it most made. And then we'll make a rabbit gumbo. Who in is that good? <laughs> Hey y'all, today we're going to learn a few good cooking skills from a legend, Mr. Justin Wilson. So here we go, y'all sit back and enjoy. You ain't seen cooking like this, I guarantee you. Into this water, I'm gonna take this thing off so it won't burn me. I don't want to put it on my spoon. No, I want. Now you go over here. Now I've got it. Into this, I've got some sausage. I've got a pound, just about a pound of smoked sausage. Smoked sausage are on do it. We use on do it, but I couldn't get any when I was uh, looking for some shopping stuff at the store. My hands are clean, like I told you. I'll put this one pound of smoked sausage. Then I'm going to put the rabbit meat in there. You know that water's hot? Whew! <laughs> I guarantee it's hot. Just stir that a little bit. Now you go. You got to put some salt on that. I know. Let me see how much salt I'm supposed to put on that salt. It says salt to taste. Well, my taste for salt is not like everybody else's. And I got to put some steak sauce in there. Come here to me. I don't have to put much, just a couple of tablespoons full, I think. There's two tablespoons full of steak sauce. Here, let's go. We'll just put that in the water while I'm thinking about it. One. Two. <laughs> that spoon wasn't, wasn't measured right anyhow. Got that fixed. Now, I'm gonna put a little Louisiana hot sauce in there. It says to taste. And uh, I'm gonna put salt in there to taste. Here's salt Come in. Let me see what I'm gonna put in there. Let's see now, and then this, okay. I'm gonna hold off there and put uh, about uh, three tables, three teaspoons. Now this is a teaspoon full, you don't believe me. I'll measure that for you to show you I know what I'm talking about. Come here to me, teaspoon. There I go. You just didn't believe that'd be a teaspoon, did you? Huh? That's what it is. And stir. Come here, rabbit. A lapin. Wait, that's heavy. Come here. Boy. You did well, like that's the bowl that weighs so much. Put this rabbit in there real good. You chop it big, because when you've got to cook it a long time, it'll cook apart and be just bite-sized when you get ready to eat it, yeah. Put the rabbit on there like this. When I get all this in there, I'm gonna put the roux in there and stir it real good. And it's gonna taste good, it's gonna smell good. I guarantee it is. Come on, rabbit. This was, uh, this wasn't the Easter rabbit, no. <laughs> he comes to my house on Easter time, he's had it, I can tell you. That. <laughs> now, a little Louisiana hot sauce, doesn't hurt anything. Let me dry my hand on my dish towel that I got right here. Mm -hmm. You work with wet hands? No. That make it get burned easy. Now, I'm not gonna put much in there, said the taste, this is to my taste. One, two. Believe it or not, that's not a whole teaspoon full of hot sauce. And this is mild hot sauce, it's not real hot. It's the kind I like, so that's the kind I use. 
if you move this out of the way. Did I put any more salt in there? No, I didn't. No, I got to put a little, got to put a little more. Yeah. You thought I forgot that, but I didn't. No. That's three teaspoons full of salt, which is enough. Stir that in there. All right, now let's get to cooking. Now what I'm going to do is put this in that. And I think I'd make it. Got to make it. All right, here let's go. And we'll gradually stir that in there too. And if I see I need more water, I'll go get more water. I don't think I will need more though. Hmm. Oh boy. That's a beautiful rule, you know that? I'm telling you the truth. Proud to make a rule like that. You know, when you burn a rule, you just got to start over. That's all there is to it. Nothing you can do about it except start over. Boy, that's coming out of there just as clean and nice. <laughs> Bless your heart. You know, I like to cook with gas because I can control my fire much more better when I cook with gas than when I cook with Alex Trudy. I'm going to get all of that that I possibly can. I'm going to get it all. I'll tell you about making a rule. Let's go back to making a rule here, man. Uh, try to practice uh, making a rule by how it looks to you. One of the things we say frequently down where I used to live, we say, well, uh, it's going good, and look, look at your, get over your, your rule and look at it, and if you can see yourself in there like a mirror, your rule's done. Of course, you may want to brown a little bit more, you can do that too. Only oh, rule is getting mixed up right. Let me get just something I need to hold that pot with. I ain't gonna hold it with my bare hand, I can tell you that. Hmm. Now, let's get to start. We got stirred in the room pretty good. Oh, man. You see, he's acting all right. He's right. You can see that, can't you? Oh, boy, I love to do this. Mm -hmm. I got some of this I'll fix when you all weren't looking. I put a little rice in my bowl. Sit down there and look at you and tell a story maybe and maybe not. And then I got a little rice that I cooked. Then I'm gonna put that in my bowl. And that's just cool enough to, your rice don't have to be real hot. But if you got good hot gumbo, ooh-wee. Let me get a little spoon to use for my rice. Get this rice and put it on there. Break it up a little bit, this rice is cold. I don't care, I love cold rice. But it's hot enough the way this gumbo, when it hits on it, it'll heat it up, I guarantee you. All right. Now, let me tell you something most people don't know. This is filet, gumbo filet. This is made from the leaf of the sassafras tree. And it's pounded, it's not ground up. It's pounded, it makes a very, just like a meal. And you put just a little bit of that on your rice, see? Just a little bit. Not too much. It's got a flavor of its own, and it thickens up. It helps thicken up that gumbo a little bit. If the gumbo don't got tin on you, you know. So what we'll do? We just haul up there and move this. Put that over there, out of my way. Put the top back there so I don't broke nothing. Take the top off of this gumbo. Ha! <laughs> and that looks good. Yeah. Ooh wee! And I got what they call what I call a. Some people call this a leader. That's a dipper to me. <laughs> so I'm gonna stir that around a little bit. Reach down in there, get me a little rabbit. Put it on my rice with that filet. Get a little sausage, a little sausage. Don't need but one of you. Got to get some juice though. To get some juice, cause that looks good. Smells good too. Mm-hmm. Put the lid back on it. I don't want to make people. 
E, 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 e. Oh man, let's go sit this down right here on this plate like I got down. And I'm gonna just sip that like a, I should. I'm gonna eat it with a spoon, I'm not gonna sip it, no. Sit myself down and pour myself just a little taste of wine, you know. I believe with this I'm supposed to have a white wine. I got some there, but I prefer red wine, so I'm gonna use red wine to pour a little bit in there. And take a little sip, maybe, maybe two, three, three or two more, you know. You know, tell it and pour a little bit there. You know, go. This is good. This is a Merlot wine. After sipping up, boy, hold still. <laughs> I mean, and a napkin. Don't want to get these done because I got to use these again, you know. Put it there and tuck it in my belt. So I'm going away now. Ha! Look her here now. Don't you wish you had some of this? Ha! <laughs> Hey, Lord, I'm all guaranteed. Let me see how it's going to taste them. Doing all that bragging and stuff, it may taste like hell. All right, do you stand a little taste of the, of the bongo? Gumbo, that is. Come over here. Mmm. Mmm. Man, that is good, I guarantee. Come here, rabbit. <laughs> 